Hello, welcome to a lecture on computers. We will be looking at some of the basic parts of a computer. There are a couple things I'll be going over in this lecture, including what a computer is and the organization of a computer. So what is a computer? A computer is a device that can perform computations and make logical decisions faster than humans. Everything around you is a computer, including your calculator or your phone. A computer program is a set of instructions that the computer interprets and then performs tasks based on. So think of a program kind of like an assignment that you get. You read it over, you understand it, and then you do what you're asked to do. There are two components to a computer, hardware and software. The computer programs or set of instructions that run on the computer are referred to as software. Hardware are the various devices that the computer is made up of, such as the keyboard, screen, mouse, etc. There are six logical units that make up the organization of the computer. The first unit is the input unit, which receives information from input devices, such as the keyboard or a mouse, and it then stores that information so that other units can interpret it. This information can come through the internet, USB drives, speaking to your computers, and many other means. The output unit, as you can tell based on its name, takes computer information and places it on output devices such as screens and paper. The output unit can send information to the internet, display text on a screen, or print something out on paper. The memory unit is equivalent to the warehouse of the computer. It retains information until it's outputted by the output unit. The information in the memory unit is volatile, meaning that it's lost when the computer's power is turned off. ALU stands for Arithmetic and Logic Unit. This unit performs calculations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and it also compares different items within the computer. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It's equivalent to the administration or the nucleus of the computer. It gives instructions such as telling the output unit when to send information to output devices and so on. In recent computers, it also tends to contain the ALU or arithmetic, arithmetic logical unit. Multiprocessors are computers with many CPUs so they can perform many operations at once. The secondary storage unit is the long-term warehouse of the computer. It's like your hard drive. The information is persistent, meaning that it's preserved even when the power is turned off. So documents that you want to use after you've turned off your computer are stored in the secondary storage unit. This brings up a very, very important topic, volatile versus persistent. They're the complete opposites of each other. Volatile information is information that isn't preserved after the computer is turned off. On the other hand, persistent information is information that lasts even after the computer's power is turned off. Volatile information is contained in the memory unit, and persistent information is contained in the secondary st storage unit. This concludes this lecture. I hope you have a better understanding of the computer.